my new giant water bottle <laughs> still in frame here. I guess this will prove to everybody that uh, I am drinking water. Um, anyway, I am back with another Destiny 2 video, and today I wanted to talk about uh, the upcoming community events and kind of community events in general, um, based on the fact that I already kind of have some fears about what's coming. Um, I will get into extremely mild spoiler territory about the community events based on what we know, which is literally just from like a triumph in the API that seems to confirm the existence of this, unless it is some remnant of something that they scrubbed and canceled. But uh, the general theory is that next week after Season of the Lost ends, um, a week from today's resets, that we will have a community event. If you don't want to know anything about it, you don't have to watch this, but... It's not the most groundbreaking. Okay, so the community event is supposed to be uh, related to the season, and it's about fixing up the Elixir Quarter. And right now, like this is the second time we've gone back to the Elixir Quarter. Um, it used to just be the old Scourge of the Past boss arena, essentially in full. And now what they've done is they've kind of walled off just the little front section there where you used to do most of your uh, cap DPS and it's still just kind of awful. It's uh, a bunch of broken down buildings. Um, Spider set up a bar there where three people have been working to fix the jukebox for months now. Uh, the initial part is still based on Search of the Past where it's like this kind of broken down, bombed out building facade and the Elixni that have joined House Light and like sought our protection are just sort of living in squalor. So, uh, progressive as Bungie is, I guess we are going to be uh, aiding our refugee friends in a way other than just murdering their enemies. So the idea is that we will be collecting some sort of currency and using it as a community to fix up the LXN quarter. Um, that's kind of all we know. <laughs> we don't know, uh, at least I don't know, rewards or... Um, exact you know steps for how this currency is acquired but i have some theories and i'm i'm hoping it does not play out the way i can foresee it playing out um generally speaking i am not the biggest fan of community events that are just that just kind of like throw giant numbers at uh very large communities and are like hit this because we have no context <laughs> of uh you know, what scale of number that even is in the first place. You could be like, okay, you know, we need 20 million of this currency, which is dropped by killing Cabal or Hive or whatever. Uh, okay, but like, is that a lot? Like, is that, do we have any idea what the pace of acquisition is? Like, um, we, we're not really going to have any context for that if it's just like a straight up giant number of crap to collect without really like any additional information. Um We've seen this in before, most recently, uh, we did this last season, where to unlock the remaining Solar 3.0 fragments, there was a, quote, community event where we had to complete a certain amount of nightmare containments and activity everybody was running anyway, and I don't think anyone was motivated to run extra nightmare containments or something um, based on that goal which we met eventually like just by playing the game normally but all it really equated to was just you put these behind a time gate it wasn't like an actual community event that like rallied the community to do anything or excited the community which is the purpose of a community event uh my favorite community events personally are puzzles i i do not think this is going to be a puzzle i'm not the, nothing about this would in, indicate to me like the setup for a puzzle um, based on what we know. But uh, this this is controversial because I know some people really hated things like Corridors of Time um, because it was concentrated into like just a, you know, a couple higher profile streamers kind of like collecting data and, and formatting it or Niobe Labs was like a world's first race for just, you know, some of the top teams, even though it was technically a community puzzle, it was mostly just like the top teams just figuring out amongst themselves. Uh, and yet, I still find that a lot more appealing than um, just hit large number targets. But if we are going to be doing hit large number targets, um, <laughs> I have some questions about how exactly that's going to go down. Uh, 
things I think everyone is kind of very tired of by this point in the season are the seasonal event. Uh, you know, we have had to run so, so many catch crashes. Like if you've been keeping up with the season and if you're farming for literally anything, if you're triumph farming, if you're title farming, if you are uh, red border farming for plunder weapons, any of that stuff, you have been running catch crashes and expeditions like a bazillion times already. Conversely, I don't think just, you know, making it playlist activities or something is going to be good either because we just had, you know, this Halloween event where, yeah, you got to get tickets, you got to farm the playlists, and then you you use those tickets and go into, uh, sorry, pages, and go into the, the haunted event once and spend all your, your pages. Um, so it's, if you, like, it's got to be some mix of that, I guess. I just really don't want to, like, log in and have it be like, all right, team, we got to throw, you know, 50 million treasure <laughs> balls and during expeditions or something like that, uh, as I think that would be very bad. Um, hallmarks of a good community event are rewards above and beyond what you would normally be getting for those activities at the very least. So, okay, so if it is, you know, uh, catch crash or, or something like that, like if we have to run expeditions like you have some sort of like crazy modifiers or something like going on during that so it's a little more different than normal you have like double rewards or like there it costs no currency to have a a, a bonus um chest spawn or like something something that feels like a time saver or an extra reward or it's like uh, prisms or enhancement cores or something can drop at the end or upgrade module like something that is an additional reward that could make this possibly worthwhile to do other than just the normal rewards for doing the normal activity that we've been doing for two months already. That I think is a very key part of this. Um, I think milestones are good. Uh, so if you, you know, I, I don't know exactly how this is going to work, but if there's like a couple different buildings in the Elixney quarter, if we hit, you know, X currency donated, that finishes that building and then that rewards the community all blanket with something. And they, they've been okay about this in the past. I think we've had, um, I forget what, maybe like Guardian Games or something. Well, one of these events has like pretty good tier uh, rewards that they can dole out for like different levels of things. That's like the whole gold, silver, bronze, metal thing. But, you know, that can apply here too. And I would like to see like, okay, if, if your community hits this tier, everybody unlocks this thing and you can insert X, Y, or Z thing for what that thing is, but it, it has to be something kind of worthwhile. And I don't, I, I'm going to try and manage expectations and be like, okay, at the end of this, we're going to get a secret exotic or something. And like, have seen nothing to indicate that at all. I am not expecting that. Um, in theory, that could be a good idea, uh, but this is still just kind of a more complicated version of a time gate if you put something like that behind it. Um, Kind of finally, in terms of like what this project is is doing overall, uh, I like the idea of rebuilding Helix Knee Quarter. It really works with the story. Um, this is a, a project we've been doing for like two years now, essentially, um, ever since Season of the Splicer, uh, and even before that, with like our, our history with with Mithrax and um, uh, the the bad one, the what's her name, Aramis. Uh, like this goes back, you know, a pretty long ways, and we have a, a long history with the Fallen. And this is like kind of a deepening of our relationship with this group. Uh, but I, I would hope that if we are going to have an event like this to rebuild the Elixney Quarter, that the Elixney Quarter becomes something, like something useful to the game. Uh, what that means exactly, I'm not 100% sure on, but like I'm thinking of things like if we're going to be, you know, it just needs to be more than just like, here's a... <laughs> Here's a place to go and hear dialogue for quests, which that is essentially what it is now. Um, I would love to see some actual vendors be planted there. I, I don't know what, I don't, off the top of my head, I don't know exactly like a laundry list of, of things they could be selling or things like that. But um, I mean, Spider obviously used to be a vendor, but like Ido could be there uh, as a vendor or, or something in terms of like uh, some new new bounties we could do for her like different you know things we could do there not that i'm requesting more bounties but you know what i mean like actual npcs that have something to say something to provide you uh in this situation i liked um i liked the idea back in the day of uh what's it called the i can't remember the name of it the the, the hall the, the testing grounds 
shooting range hall from Callus. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I liked that where that was a very interesting process of kind of, it was individualized, but you would slowly unlock all the different models and like different things like heavy ammo respawn in here, uh, like vault access and like whatever, like you would unlock this kind of larger scope of things in there. And like, well, I'm not saying the uh, Elixney quarter should become a firing range as that seems a little counterproductive for war refugees. Um, something similar to that in that like it provides value for the player for some reason. So we're not just building, you know, refurbishing buildings so they look nicer if we have to come here for like a couple more quest missions like next season, but like an actual place that stays with the game. Like they've already taken the Elixni quarter away once um, after it was like not really relevant anymore. And then they had to bring it back for this season. But like, if we're going to do something like this, if we're going to refurbish it, it should stay around. It should do something. It should be a permanent part of the game and part of the, you know, ever evolving world uh, of destiny. And I don't think anyone enjoys seeing cut content. Granted, the Elixni Quarter is not really content, but it does seem kind of weird just narratively to have it come and go, come and go. And now we're actually like dedicating time and resources to, you know, rebuilding it. Um, it feels like something meaningful should come out of that. So <laughs> to sum up, don't just have us run the same things over and over again with no changes to, you know, how we're doing it or no changes to rewards. Uh, and then have this produce something meaningful at the end and not just like a cosmetic makeover of the place once we hit a billion currency donated or something like something more meaningful and lasting than that um those are my hopes for it uh we will find out more in a week maybe they'll talk about it ahead of time i i don't know this this could just be something secret they spring on us or they this could be something they actually talk about in the twab i'm not sure it doesn't seem like it's going to be some huge secret reveal thing or whatever it's just it's just kind of something to keep the community occupied for the last uh, couple barren weeks of the season here so anyway those are my thoughts on this community event and community events in general uh we will see what happens in probably a week unless this all got scrapped and it's not happening at all i guess we'll find out so anyway thanks for watching and